wasn't so long ago you didn't need very many fingers to count the different styles of basketball sneakers. And the price, well, you could buy a decent pair of sneakers for under $30. Way under. Alas, those days are long gone. And in their place, a culture where high-priced kicks mean status, power, and sometimes even big-time bucks. Reselling to me is sharing the value of all these amazing hyped sneakers with everyone else. Basically what reselling is, is you buy a product for less and then you sell it for more. Which, uh, you buy a product for one price and you sell it for more than what you pay for. Walk you through some numbers. The resale market we know is 1.2 billion. Nike, including Jordan brand, accounts for 96% of all shoes sold on the secondary market. Just complete domination. Sneakerheads love Jordans. And profit on the secondary market is about a third. That means that sneakerheads made $380 million selling Nikes last year. Let's jump to retail for a second. Skechers earlier this year became the number two footwear brand in the country, surpassing Adidas. This was a big deal. And in the 12 months, Ending June, Skechers' net income was $209 million. That means that Nike's customers make almost twice as much profit as their closest competitor. That... <laughs> How is that even possible? I get them usually retail from the actual stores. I pop in and out of these stores. You know, I check in, check out, and get them for retail. You line up for a shoe, a limited quantity shoe, and you buy for the retail price, but nothing really goes for retail if it sells out. If it sells out, you make a lot of money, and then if you get more than like a pair, you make your you make more money and you basically make whatever you bought back. Yeah. With a little extra. We buy it from the stores, and I'll go straight to Flight Club physically, and I'll drop off the shoes, and they'll give me the amount of money that they're selling for, they'll list it, and they'll give me 80% of it. And I'll just get a nice check from them every so often. So, around, I was like 16, I bought one pair of kicks, and I just started reselling it to get more pairs of shoes. I post them all on the Facebook forums, like I'm on like 40 different groups, and I also post on eBay. I have my friends do shipping for me. I personally sell my shoes and clothing on Facebook, that's where I make most of my money. And I also use the app Grail. And uh, I basically sell online and right now we're at a sneaker event, which is where I'm selling most of my items and where he just got a new uh, sweatshirt. I sell mine again, Facebook groups, Long Island Facebook groups, city groups. Uh, try to start up an eBay account. Um, eBay is good. If you're a trusted seller. Um, and sneaker shows like this, you can get things really cheap, you can sell your stuff, or you can resell your stuff. Like a hundred dollars. A beat on the beat.
Since opening in 1994, Supreme has been the most desired clothing brand for anyone involved in streetwear. From the jump, the brand has kept its inventory limited, releasing its product in small, exclusive runs. With a limited supply and an insane demand, Supreme is the most resellable clothing brand in the world, period. I think the only brand that has anything on Supreme is obviously Nike. So how long have you been waiting? Like 14 hours. Since like 9 p.m. last night. I came here yesterday, 7 o'clock. I'm, I'm, buying, I'm buying everything, because I'm a hype beast, you know? If you don't know that this is how it is, then you haven't been here before. You just got to get it. You have to. I bought this Supreme Box logo hoodie for $500 and I could sell this for $650 right now. That's a great sale. The market for this is uh, increasing dramatically since there's a lot of new shoes coming out and new clothing and everyone wants it and that's why they paid the high price. At times, like, you can't just, like, resell out of things, like, you don't make money every day, like, when you do make money, like, it's, like, probably, like, months of work. Like, I just bought a shoe for $200, and now I'm reselling it for $500, that's a $300 profit, and if I have... That's what some people make working in a week, some kids, and it's a lot easier to just, you know, wait online for a shoe and resell it than, I don't know, breaking leaves or... Uh, that's, that's, that's basically my job is reselling everything I get. I never really keep anything. And I just I, I, I have a lot of cash and I just keep on buying and reselling. When you buy and sell, you get better stuff. When you get better stuff, it's usually worth more. So you just keep reselling until you can get the best stuff.